team, so you want to get into expanding your communication capability and moving something beyond the simple walkie-talkie or, or FRS-type styled radio that you're going to find in your big box store. In this video, I'm going to show you and walk you through step-by-step -step just how easy it is to get your GMRS license. So it does take a couple steps and navigating the FCC website is probably harder than most any land app site that uh, you may have had to, had to get through. So I'm going to walk you through this so that you'll have absolutely 100% confidence in your ability to do this. And why do you want to get your license? GMRS is basically like an entry level licensed net that you can get into it's going to cost you only 35 dollars and what it's going to give you and allow for you to do is to have a little bit more capabilities than just your typical handheld walkie-talkie you have the option of using repeaters that are out there whether you in place your own or use existing ones and it offers more power uh, whether whether or not you're talking about a handheld radio or whether you have something in your vehicle where you set up a base station at the house. This is going to enable you to maintain positive communication with your friends and your family in the event of any kind of natural disaster or you know civil unrest. So let's walk through this. So looking at uh, the FCC's website here, I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can see right off the bat uh, that the GMRS, I mean, this is what it is. And as you can see, the license is for short wave to distant two way communications to facilitate the activities, licensees, and their immediate family members, which ultimately means that your entire immediate family can operate on a GMRS radio using your license. And notice that key verbiage that's in there after the individual, right? One man or one woe man. That's the fact, Jack! <laughs> so moving on, looking at the other tabs, uh, we have information about the licensing, right? It's good for 10 years. Now looking at the data, and as we scroll down and look at the channels that are available, I'm going to have a side-by-side -side with the FRS because they share the same frequencies, many of the same frequencies, but with GMRS, you get more power. As you can see, FRS is really limited. Now we need to go ahead and get into how to actually get our license. So we're at the FCC website, and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the cores and go to the updated version, and then select to register, select to register our username. You're going to enter all of the information here. Obviously, you don't need to see all of my information. And then once you're done, uh, your next can be given, you know, the typical, you know, find the street traffic lights or fire hydrants or whatever. So you get all those selected and you get through and now i kind of zoomed in here uh, just to kind of get rid of some of my personal information you can see that you have an account created but we're not done yet so what's going to happen is you're going to receive an email and this is what it's going to look like it's going to tell you that to create a new fcc account you need to verify your email address <coughs> click on that link and then click on register new frn Now we're going to select whatever is appropriate, what individual, and whether or not we're in the states or not, and then select continue. Cores FRN registration, we're going to select continue. And again, we're going to have a form that we're going to fill out from top to bottom. And right, so once we're done, we're going to go and log back in and then apply for a new license. Click that drop down menu. We're going to go all the way down to Zulu Alpha for our GMRS. Hit continue and then select anything that may or may not be appropriate for you and which should all be no's and then continue again here we're going to end bit, uh, enter all of our information and hit continue and then we have a basic question are you a felon or not hit no and continue assuming that your answer is no and then now we can get in and get ready to pay for our license We're going to hit uh, continue to certify, we get to this screen. We're going to scroll down and we'll type in our information again and then submit our application. And then to actually process our payment, however it is that you want to pay for you. 
And we'll do that by logging in and then going into uh, manage existing FRN and then the FRN financial. And then from here, you're going to be able to actually view or make your payment. However it is that you want to pay for yours, you can pay any number of ways. Uh, I just use a credit card, click in all of the information that's easy peasy. And then, <laughs> so I tell you, you got a little bit, of, uh, a little bit of navigating to do. You're going to get your land nav in getting through this website. You're going to receive an email. It's going to tell you that your license is good to go. You're going to go and click on that authorization link. And then that's going to take you to where you can actually get the official copy of your FCC GMRS radio. And so as you can see, team, it is a little complicated. The FCC's website makes it a little bit more complicated than what I'm sure most of us would hope that it would be. But it's easy enough to do. And I'm going to challenge you. To leave some comments down below whether or not you have your GMRS license or not and or if this is something that you want to add in to your family basic emergency uh, preparedness plan or if this is just something that you use for overlanding camping however it is that you use your GMRS radios and if you also look down uh, in the description and I'll try to make sure I leave a comment as well I'll have a list or I'll have a link over to my Amazon influencer page. You can look or not look by or not by, I don't care. But if you're looking for radios and repeaters and different things uh, and different equipment that you can look at getting into, it's not an expensive thing to do. And I would submit to you that communications are one of the areas that requires, the, the, well, it's one of the areas that we are most lacking in in our emergency preparedness plan. But we don't have to spend a lot of time. You don't have to go crazy uh, to get a GMRS license. And as you can see, there's no testing involved. It will take you all of maybe 20 minutes. Um, if you had to like re revert back to this video as you're walking through to see the screenshots or whatever. And it'll take the next day until you have your license. So it is super quick super fast in order to get done team i appreciate all you guys leave some comments down below man so we can keep this conversation rolling as always until then you stay out there you keep grinding and you stay stoked Team, if you want to master your craft and develop your tactical virtue, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on future content. Consider becoming a channel member. It's going to give you exclusive access to content not available to anybody else. I appreciate you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.